The next game is Jewel Thief. Here's how it works. One person is the Jewel Thief Protector. That's Caroline. She's the Jewel Protector. She's going to protect this jewel right here. You ready? To protect the jewel, she's going to stand near it. She cannot touch it at any point in time, but she can stand near it. What's going to happen is we're going to have a Jewel Thief Mastermind. Someone that is going to be controlling us to come get this. They're going to tap us on the back and let us know that we can go across the circle to get the ball. Once you move into the circle to get the ball, you have to continue forward. Okay? You do not have to go as soon as you are tapped, but you have to maintain your spot on the circle. Everybody understand so far? Okay, so if someone taps you on the back, you move forward. I'm going to need one more volunteer. Anyone want to volunteer? One volunteer. Thanks, Mark. Here's how this works. Mark is going to be our jewel thief mastermind. He's going to walk around the circle. He's going to tag people on the back. If he taps you on the back, you get to move forward. Now, Caroline is a jewel thief protector. She's going to be watching for this. So you have to be subtle as you tap. You don't want to walk around and go tap, tap, tap. Very subtle. Okay? Person's going to come in. You tag them. If you tag them, they go back and they start over. They have to be re-tapped on the back. Okay? Are you ready? And you're just going to go this way for us, okay? Remember, you cannot be in contact with the ball if you're the Jewel Thief Protector. Once you move in, you have to go forward. You have to keep going forward. You've stopped. You have to keep going forward. Then you just go back to the circle. <laughs> and that is how Jewel Thief Protector works. There's usually a distraction. Normally what we would do is the next person who ever gets the ball, they become the Jewel Thief Protector, and then somebody else becomes our Jewel Thief Mastermind.